Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. If you want to keep up with me on my socials, I will put them on the screen. And if you want to watch me play games on Twitch, it's also going to be on the screen and I will link them in the description below. And if you want to join my Discord server, I will put the link to it in the description as well. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to take your Canon DSLR camera and use it as a webcam for streaming on Twitch. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing you need to do is get a power adapter for your camera. So go ahead and go to Amazon and then go to the search bar and just search for the name of your camera and the model followed by power adapter. So I'm gonna type Canon Rebel T6 followed by power adapter. All right, so make sure that you type the name of your camera followed by power adapter. So let's go ahead and search for it. Feel free to choose any of them, but before you buy it, make sure that you read the information about it and make sure that it is compatible for your camera. So my camera is right here, Canon Rebel T6. So that means this is compatible for my camera. So before you buy it, make sure that it is compatible for your camera. So once you receive this in the mail, it'll look something like this. So what this does is you insert it into the battery slot and it basically gives your camera unlimited battery as long as it's plugged in. Alright, so after you do that, go to Google and type EOS Webcam Utility and it should be the first link right here. So uh, right here, it's going to give you a little bit of information it says live stream like a pro with our EOS Webcam Utility software and uh, just choose whether you're on Mac or Windows, but I'm pretty sure most people are going to be on Windows. So we're going to go with Windows, Keep scrolling down. And these are the compatible applications for this. And let's keep scrolling down even more. Right here it says software download instructions. So go ahead and click select your model and try to look for your camera. All right, so don't just copy what I'm gonna click. Make sure that you click on your camera model. All right, so um, yeah, I'm gonna click this because this is my camera model. And it's going to take you to this page and look for where it says EOS webcam utility. Okay. So it's this one right here. Do not click on EOS utility. That's something else. Make sure it's EOS webcam utility. So click this and click download, but I'm not going to be downloading it because I already have it downloaded. So for the next part, you're going to need to have WinRAR downloaded. So if you don't have WinRAR downloaded, just go to Google and type WinRAR download, click the first link, and then just click download WinRAR, follow the instructions, and that's it. All right, so after you download EOS Webcam Utility, go ahead and go to your downloads folder and look for it. In my case, it's right here. So just right click this, extract to EOS Webcam Utility, and it's automatically going to create a folder with the same name. So let's look for that folder and it's right here. So let's open this and just double click this and then just follow the instructions and it should be done. But in my case, if I double click this, it's going to say this message because I already have it installed, but just double click it, follow the instructions and that's it. All right. So Go ahead and plug your camera into your computer using the cable that you use to plug it into your computer, or you can use a longer version of that cable if you have one and just turn it on. And after you do that, let's go ahead and open up Streamlabs OBS. If you're using OBS Studio, you can still follow along because both OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS they pretty much have the same layout. The layout is very, very similar, so you can still follow along regardless. And I am actually recording with OBS Studio. So anyways, what you need to do is after you turn on your camera, after it's plugged into your computer, 
this is what you need to do. So go ahead and click this plus button over here and then go to video capture device and click add source. And right here, as you can see, um, it's showing the webcam, but if it's not showing for you, what you can do is click over here, add new source instead and click add source. And as you can see, it's not showing here. So what you need to do is go to device and change that from whatever it is to EOS webcam utility. And as you can see, there it is and just click done. All right, so you can move this around if you want. And as you can see, there's some like black bars on the sides and on the top and bottom. So what you can do is uh, you can actually shrink this, make it smaller or bigger if you want. But in order to get rid of the black bars, what you need to do is press and hold alt and then just drag it just to crop it out. Do the same thing for the other side and do the same thing for the bottom and the top and just do this until you're satisfied with how it looks. Uh, if you want, you can even crop it even more just like this. Uh, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but you know, if you want your uh, face cam to look like this, then that's completely up to you, but I'm just gonna adjust it to however I want it. So let's see. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just make it smaller, put it on the side, put it wherever you want to. And that's pretty much it. And I just want to mention that if you use this, you're going to have to get a microphone because the microphone on the DSLR camera does not pick up sound when you're streaming. So make sure you get yourself a microphone for this. And that's pretty much it. And that is pretty much it. That is all that you have to do to use your Canon DSLR camera as a webcam for streaming on Twitch. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, make sure to give this video a like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. If you want to keep up with me on my socials, I'll put them on the screen and if you want to watch me play games on Twitch, it's also going to be on the screen and I will link them in the description below. And if you want to join my Discord server, I will put the link to it in the description as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Later.